Welcome back to Recap Central. Today I'm going to explain a movie called The Mandela Effect. Spoilers ahead. Subscribe if you enjoy the video it helps the channel. On the beach a game developer named Brandon his wife Claire and their daughter Sam. They enjoy their day together. While the parents relax Sam goes to look for snails. She promises not to go in the water. Her mom agrees but tells her not to go too far away. While Sam digs for snails. The waves drag her doll into the water. She tries to recover the doll but sadly drowns. Brandon and Claire are devastated by the death. Claire tries to move on but Brandon is deeply affected. Brandon is packing Sam's things. He sees a book titled The Berenstain Family but he clearly remembers it as Berenstain with an E instead of an A. While they sleep a sound comes from the kitchen. Brandon goes to investigate. It's Matt's brother-in-law. He came to look for food. Brandon offers him some pizza. He also asks about the book. He remembers with an E. Brandon shows him the book and it is actually written with an A. Brandon is curious and look on the internet. It seems a lot of people agree with him. And remember it the same way. He continues searching and discovers a theory to explain the situation. It is called the Mandela effect. The next morning Brandon sees a picture of their family. He asks his wife where it was taken. She says it was at the Griffith Observatory. But Brandon doesn't remember taking photos there. He says they took photos at the Pacific Science Center in Seattle. His wife says nothing and asks him to leave because she is cooking. Brandon visits Matt and they talk about the Mandela effect. Brandon thinks the effect is real. But Matt says is just false memories. Brandon is convinced he is in a parallel universe now. He continues to learn on the theory. He sees the Mandela effect is caused by a hadron collider at CERN. It seems many people experienced weird effects at the time of the experiment. Brandon goes to a priest to talk about God's existence. After listening to the priest Brandon doesn't think God created the world. Claire notices Brandon's strange behavior. She tells him he needs to move on. She wants him to forget the past and live a new life. He asks her about the Monopoly guy. Claire thinks the Monopoly man has a monocle on one eye. He checks the box and the man has no monocle. He also shows her the book Curious George. The monkey has no tail. But Sam's doll had a tail. Brandon tells her about the Mandela effect. He thinks Sam's death is the result of a parallel universe colliding with theirs. Claire is disappointed at him focusing on strange theories instead of moving on. Brandon is sure the Mandela effect is real. He continues studying the theory. The Mandela effect might be caused by parallel universes mixing with theirs. Each universe contains a different version of events. He is convinced Sam is still alive in a parallel universe. After a while he finds a scientist named Dr. Roland Fuchs that believes the world is a simulation. Brandon tries to speak with him but he is too busy. He goes to his house the next day. They talk about his research. His research shows the universe is a computer simulation. With an unknown origin. Every second a new universe is mad. The Mandela effect seems to be a bug or a mix of simulations. And causes the changes. Brandon thinks that if reality is a program. He could change the code to fix it. A regular computer isn't enough to do it. Roland agrees with him. But since he will need a stronger computer. He shows him a quantum computer his team is working on. He says that the code might be possible to run on the quantum computer. Brandon starts learning quantum programming. And starts coding. He makes a code with parts of his games. The next morning he finds Sam sitting at the table. He thinks it might be a dream. But it seems he managed to get her back. He plays and spends time with her. He is really happy since he changed his universe. He starts noticing Claire's behavior. In this universe she is really stressed. Brandon goes to see Dr. Roland. But at his house he finds out Roland killed himself two months ago. The script he created cause a very strong Mandela effect. He finds a bug in the script. He starts coding a program to reinstall the universe. The restart should make the universe run normal. He is worried about this script as it might destroy the universe. But thinking about his family. He goes back into the facility. 
and enters the code into the quantum computer. He runs the script and it seems to work. When he goes outside he notices all the cars are gone. On the bus he sees people glitching. The buildings are also glitching. He runs to his family. His wife is glitching. And the house turns dark. Everything goes dark the universe implodes and disappears. The code starts running again and the universe rebuilds all the way back to normal. Making Mandela effects disappear. We see Brandon Claire and Sam at the beach. Sam wants to go look for Snail. But Brandon tells her to leave the doll. As she digs in the sand Brandon watches her subscribe for more videos.